Three, yeah, give it to two, it. one. Well, my name is Gwendy Young. I am doing this project because I have brain cancer and this is the first time that I've, I've actually talked about it and kind of put it out and I thought that this was one of the best ways to, I don't know, talk about it and put it out there and know that, you know, and not have a disconnect from it finally. So all these dates, these are four dates that have been super important through my life and are very important for the last year that I've lived. So, yeah. So this is, my, this is basically my story. Uh, January 30th, 1994, I was born. And the night that I was born, there was a football game. There was the Super Bowl, and it was the Dallas Cowboys and the Buffalo Bills. I was born about two hours before the game started. And my parents always told me that my dad sat with me in the hospital room and we watched a football game together. And so that was kind of, you know, the thing that I always think people said was like sports was interjected into my life. I was born on a Super Bowl and I'm a Super Bowl child. And so sports has always been a giant part of my life growing up. And I, I mean, I played sports, whether it was baseball, softball, hockey, I played sports growing up. I was always on varsity teams and it was something that I really enjoyed in I wanted to like be like a sports writer, or sports agent when I was in high school, and I ended up settling on sports media, and that's what I'm studying now. And so, yeah, hockey, hockey became my big sport, and it was always something that had been in my life, and it was a really important part of my life. So that was something I really wanted to focus on. And I have these dreams of going to Canada and, and doing media there and working with hockey teams there. And then, yeah, so now I'm studying media now, and working my way through that. February 14th of 2015, I woke up that morning to three or four um, ambulance type people, like emergency people in my bedroom with my parents. And I was absolutely confused about what was going on. And my dad was sitting on the side of my bed and told me that I'd had a seizure and he had heard it. And, um, like I was like hitting the wall of my room and whatnot. And so, you know, they called 911 obviously because up until then I had been relatively healthy, nothing bad had ever happened. And, um, you know, he told me I'd had a seizure and that I was going to the hospital, and so we did. I remember getting a lot of tests done. I remember getting a lot of blood drawn and they couldn't really figure out what was wrong. And so they sent me home with some anti-seizure medicine, I believe. And they said, if it happens again, bring her back and we'll, we'll figure it out from there. And then a day later, I went home and I had a full health good day. A day later, I had another seizure. My dad had heard it. And so we went back to Bronson and they decided that they were gonna keep running more tests and they admitted me and they got a MRI. And I got an MRI with contrast, which was used to see if anything was different in my brain and they found out I had tumors. I have three tumors in my head and they are in the right frontal lobe, the left frontal lobe and on kind of near like where your spinal cord and your head meet. And they weren't sure what, they knew they were masses is what they called them at first. They weren't, I don't ever really remember the word tumor being used, but they were masses at that time. And so I was scheduled for a biopsy and on February 17th, I went in for a biopsy, which they cut into to get a piece of the mass out of my head on the right side of my head. And they, you know, they did that. They weren't still fully sure what it was. And so they sent it to a Mayo Clinic in um, Minnesota. But while I was recovering in the hospital, I went home a couple days later because I healed up really well and they were really surprised. So I went home I was on bed rest for about a week or so. But during my time, during my time recovering, I spent a lot of time watching hockey. It was the only thing that, it was the only thing that gave me kind of a comfort, really. I still kind of had a disconnect from it, but I watched a lot of hockey because it was like big in the season. And I, I remember watching games like late night games when I couldn't sleep very well. And uh, yeah, so I watched a lot of hockey, I watched a lot of sports 
and I wrote a lot of hockey. I wrote about hockey on a blog that I write for. And so, you know, that, that kept my mind off things a lot. Oh, um, I watched a lot of Red Wings games. I was, I was probably, you know, I think I watched more Red Wings games that entire time recovering than I probably ever did in my lifetime because I, I had the time. I wasn't in school. And, uh, yeah, I got to watch a lot of Red Wings games. I got to really just love hockey again. I had never really gotten... With school, I was so busy, but I got to love hockey again, and it was a constant. It was the one thing that was always there for me. So March 4th was actually a couple days before we got a call. March 4th was a Monday, I believe. We got a call from Bronson that said they had their results back and we were gonna go in to find out. So March 4th at, I think it was about 10.45 in the morning or so, we went into a, into a Bronson's, um, outpatient, inpatient, whatever thing. And um, we've talked to the doctor that did my surgery and he kind of told us what the mass was. They had found out they were tumors and that they were, I don't remember the exact terminology for them, but it was brain cancer. And there was, I remember being told that and I remember my mom kind of being like, taken back by it. I remember both of my parents being taken back by it, but I just sat there. I was very, very disconnected from being told you have cancer and being told you have brain cancer. But with being told you have brain cancer, he had decently good news. There was, the cancer I have cannot spread to any part of my body, which was quite a silver lining for it. He said that, you know, they were very on a scale of one to four, they were about a two, which he said in medical terms is good. So there was that silver lining of, okay, this isn't going to, it isn't gonna kill you, but it definitely isn't a good thing that it's there. And I remember I updated a, a Facebook status and I told everybody, you know, I kept everybody updated and I, I told them, look, I have brain cancer and we're gonna go to a cancer center in town and. We'll get it taken care of from there. We, uh, you know, are gonna take care of it and deal with it and life is gonna go on. And I remember that night I watched the Red Wings game. I watched them beat the, who they play? They played the New York Rangers and they won in overtime and two one. And I remember watching that game and not caring that I had cancer. Like it didn't matter that, you know, I'd been told this news and I could disconnect from it watching hockey. And that was probably the most amazing thing that that sport has ever done for me.